Hello YouTube, this is Chelsea with a story here. Today we're gonna start with some lock picking lawyer. So grab your snackies, grab your bubbles, let me know what you're eating or drinking down below. And let's get to watching. Hi just Dan Sandwich. This is the lock picking lawyer, and on this channel I've demonstrated how to What's penetrate this? some of the most secure equipment out there, usually using some very simple tools. Okay. I understand now. We're penetrating today. But it's almost always done right here on my desk. It's a controlled environment that might not be equivalent to field conditions. Mm -hmm. So today I'm taking you on the road with me. You see, I just got a call from my ex-girlfriend who's having a problem. Her new boyfriend is apparently having trouble getting in her back door. It's really tight and she told him to stop trying because all he was doing was pushing really hard and she was afraid something would break. But. <laughs> you gotta take your time. You, you gotta take your time, man. You can't just, you can't just, you, mm, lube and patience. She remembered that when we were dating, I used to go in through her back door all the time. Uh -huh. This is a picture of her back door. She just sent it to me and I don't see any reason why this should be a problem. Frankly, it looks looser than it was back when we were dating. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. So, while her boyfriend's <clears throat> at work, she asked me to come over and see if I could help. While he's at work, huh? Okay. So, while her boyfriend's at work, she asked me to come over and see if I could help loosen things up. I, of course, agreed, so long as I. Patience. I could get it on video and share it on this channel. So let's drive over and see if we can get in our back door without breaking anything. Okay, folks, here we are. And I have to say that my ex-girlfriend's back door is far dirtier than it ever used to be. My guy! <laughs> okay. Back when we were dating. It seems to have been neglected pretty badly, but I'm actually glad to find it this way. So you can see why I always keep baby wipes handy whenever I do anything like this. Good for you, man. So let's get one out and wipe all of this brown residue away. <laughs> Okay, this is pretty dirty. It might be a two wipe job. Mm hmm. Okay, now that we have the outside just a little bit cleaner, it's mm -hmm. time to flush out the inside as well. And because we need to lubricate this anyway, there it I'm is. Going to flush out. Yep. Yep, just lube it up. Take your time. Be patient. Be patient. Um, you know. Yep. Out the main opening with a good bit of lube. We just need to be sure to keep a towel underneath that opening mm -hmm. so we don't make a mess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. Here it makes Y'all got a towel? Y'all got y'all towels ready? <clears throat> you, you get you do like water based or uh Anyway, a lot of sense to be generous with that lubricant. Yes. Back doors. Yeah. You know what? More is more. More is better. You know? However, you know, better have too much, really, than Tend not to enough. Be neglected. Mm -hmm. So you can't have too much. Mm hmm. Okay, we are almost ready, but before I go any further, I need to put on some rubber for my own protection. Yeah? Yeah? I suggest that, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, depending on various factors, I should note 
that the opening could be in an awkward position. Mm -hmm. And all I have to say about that is deal with it. It's not uncommon. Maybe, you know, put a pillow. I don't know. Especially when you're going in through the back door. Now, mm -hmm. I can't just shove in my tool. I need to be very gentle mm -hmm. and wiggle things into position if I'm going to stand any chance mm -hmm. of getting in. That was fast, my guy. I think we're there. All it needs now is a firm shove. And we... Please, please don't firmly shove anything. Thank you. ...are in. Now, you need to understand that just because I got in her back... Okay, I'm going to be honest. Um, possibly, possible some of the, you know, maybe possibly, uh, you, you need to sand this right here. Like, I could be wrong, but that might be some of the issues why it's maybe stuck like that. You maybe sand that anyway. ...door doesn't mean that her boyfriend will be able to as well. Mm -hmm. So I need to spend some time working it in and loosening it up. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to do that off camera. So that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and mm -hmm. would like to see more like it, please subscribe and have a great April 1st. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for that. Um... <clears throat> educational experience yep that's not what i wanted great great educational experience uh yeah